This is Jupiter Today for the 27th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. Today there's eight Jupiter satellite events and two mutual satellite events. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant two, heading west. Europa starts the day in quadrant four, heading east. And Ganymede is also in quadrant four, heading east. Going to spend all day in, in quadrant four. And Callisto starts the day in quadrant one, heading east. At 2.15 UTC, the transit of EO begins. And at 3.15, the shadow of EO ingresses. At 4.32 UTC, the transit of EO ends, and at 5.32 UTC, the shadow of EO egresses. By 6 hours UTC, EO has successfully transited, and is now in quadrant 3, heading west. Europa is still in quadrant 4, heading east, but going to be moving behind Jupiter soon. From 7.53 to 7.58 UTC, EO eclipses Europa. That's going to be over here, this line of sight. That's a 4.9 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.202 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.626 magnitudes. But they're fairly close to Jupiter, 12.1 arc seconds and they're 45.16 arc seconds apart. At 8.50 UTC, Europa moves behind Jupiter, and by 12 hours UTC, EO is near its western elongation, going to be moving into quadrant 4, heading east. Europa is still moving behind Jupiter, and Callisto is at its eastern elongation, going to be moving into quadrant 3 and start to slowly head west. From 1332 to 1344, EO occults Ganymede. See, that's about here and here. And that's a impact parameter of 0.419 arc seconds, so not a very direct occultation. It's got an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.235 magnitudes, and it's a nice distance from Jupiter. 102 arc seconds. At 13.44, Europa reappears from Jupiter's shadow. At 17.35 UTC, EO goes through an apogee. That's the furthest it's going to be from Jupiter in this orbit. That's 423,553.4 kilometers. At 18 hours UTC, EO is now past its eastern elongation, its western elongation, and is in quadrant 4, heading east. At 20 hours UTC, Ganymede goes through an apogee, and that's 1,072,952.3 kilometers. At 22.57 UTC, Ganymede moves behind Jupiter. At 23.34, Io moves behind Jupiter. And by zero hours UTC, EO is moving behind Jupiter, and Ganymede is also moving behind Jupiter. Europa still in quadrant one, heading east, and Callisto over in quadrant two, heading west. Orbital ribbons for today, these are the temporal and spatial connections between the four Galilean moons. So here's the connection between Io and Europa, Io and Ganymede, Io and Callisto. That's a nice twisted shape there. And then Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto, and then combining all of them and taking away the orbit lines. We get that for today. 24 hours of Jupiter sky. See what's happening in the sky above Jupiter over the next 24 hours.
There went Europa into Jupiter's shadow. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, first at 7.52 and the second at 17.47 UTC. There were some new images sent to me. There was no new radio data and no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, one minute, 31 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 56 minutes, 53.1 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun is 126.834 degrees, and that's 1.032 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle is 8.59 degrees, and that's 0.12 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 701,449,397 kilometers. And that's 1,906,349 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 79,431.21 kilometers per hour and that's 1,084.79 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 799,873,338 kilometers, and that's 44,174 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,840.58 kilometers per hour, and that's 2.38 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 166.35 degrees, CM2, 173.29 degrees, CM3, 94.65 degrees. So please subscribe, and thank you to everyone who is subscribing and watching. This is a daily podcast, happens every day find out what's happening at the Jupiter system, the very dynamic Jupiter system, trying to encourage people to observe and watch Jupiter more and more. So you can send your images and observations, comments, questions to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.